Right, I'm inside St Francis's now at the altar end. I think the battery is about to go on this, but we'll carry on until they do go. Just met the church warden and told me that the roof indeed was made new in about the 1970s. But it's better to be repaired than not at all, isn't it? Nice solid looking beams. I don't know what they're made of. They have about 10 people here. They have weddings and marriages. It's far from redundant, the lady told me. And it's dedicated to St. Francis. Prayer of St. Francis. God Almighty, eternal, righteous and merciful, give us your us poor sinners to do for thy sake all that we know of thy will and always what pleases thee, so that inwardly, purified, enlightened and kindled by the fire of the Holy Spirit, we may follow in the footprints of thy well-beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. So that's the prayer of St. Francis, apparently. Yeah, it's not over all night. It's a typical church that's been um, probably attacked by the Puritans in the past, to be quite honest. Here we got sacred to the memory of John Dorbin Esquire, who departed this life in 1839, age 78, and his wife Joan. So that's a plaque there in their memory. We've got them to our family up in Cambridge and Suffolk. Plaques on the walls. And for all I know, other people do pictures of them. Right, I'm up in this pulpit. Because you always get quite a good view from the pulpit. I'm doing the video now in case anyone else comes in because I can't talk uninhibited. So lighter than the other one, I suppose she would have let me put the lights on. It's only because this camera is not brilliant at bringing out the light. There's another door bin. Sacred to the memory of James Dorbin and Mary and John and James. They died in the 1800s, 1830s and stuff. So this is out on the Somerset levels, not far from Chedzoy. We've got that brilliant big church there. The parishes, the parishioners of Sowell record their gratitude to the Graham family for installing electricity in this chapelry in memory of Aileen Graham, who died 3rd of March 1951, aged 72. Like I say, it's very plain. But it's functional and they do use it. They've had Babington meetings here. Um, what's that there? Roll on a record of those connected with the parish who served in the Great War. Right, names. Alfords, lots of Alfords. One, two, three, four, at least five of them. Biffin, Cornish, Collins, Giblet. Hosegood, Harding, Harding, Irish, Lock, Orham, Parish, Tippets, Wills, about four Wills. There's several graves outside, not necessarily theirs, but of the, those family names as well. It's a nice font, that looks pretty old, pretty Norman. <sighs> The lady has been doing the hoovering. Just a little plight, tiny area there where they prepare things. And where the bell is, I presume the bell works. All right, we just have to walk up through. Stop.
right over and out 